If you get rejected by women, there's only one thing that you should do. Now, we've all been rejected by women at some time. Regardless of the reason, you have a few options that you can take to deal with it. So number one, you can swear off women forever and go your own way. This is the MGTOW way. And I personally don't recommend this strategy. Number two is you can lower your standards and try to get with an uglier woman than the woman who rejected you. However, you should not reject your standards, especially when it comes to women. So I don't really recommend this strategy either. You should keep your standards consistent and constant and not drop them merely because you want to be comfortable or you feel a bit off, you feel a bit sad. Number three is you improve yourself and your life through self-improvement, looks maxing, going to the gym, so that you'll actually be able to attract a high quality, beautiful woman. Now, when you get rejected or broken up with, it does hurt. You will feel that pain, that loneliness. However, just saying that you're done with women or trying to rush and get into a relationship with any woman who will accept you, even if you're not attracted to her or like or even like her, is not a solution to your problems. You will have that pain within your heart. However, you can choose how to use that pain. You must use that pain productively. Use that pain to go hit the gym and become muscular and aesthetic. Use it to motivate yourself to work on your business or your brand and start earning more money. Use that pain to improve yourself, to improve your life and become the best version of yourself. I've seen a lot of guys get rejected or dumped and they just start searching high and low, desperately searching for a woman to date. Try to just trying to stop the pain from heartbreak and the loneliness, even if they aren't attracted or even like the woman. They just need something to stop the pain. They need something to hide from it. These guys are just throwing away their superpower, their unfair advantage. Frankly, I believe that the best motivator for men after they've been rejected or broken up with is that it's going to be the biggest mistake of the woman's life. Imagine if you bump into her like on a street corner in five years down the line. If you have not improved yourself, if you're just the same loser or even worse, you just become even more of a Jeffrey just because you just continued your bad habits. She's going to be so happy that she decided to reject and dump you. She's going to be thanking God that she didn't stay with you. However, if you spent those five years improving yourself, delaying your gratification, sacrificing and making progress towards your goals and your purpose, going to the gym and building your aesthetic and attractive physique, starting and scaling your business and now you're wealthy, looks maxing to become much more attractive. If she sees you after five years of self-improvement, she is going to be devastated that she didn't stay with you. Make her reject her decision to either leave you or just reject you. Another consequence of self-improvement is that by improving yourself in all aspects of your life, you'll be able to much more easily attract a much more attractive and feminine woman than you were even trying to date. If you can attract a, for example, a six out of 10 woman now, one year of self-improvement down the line, you'll probably be able to attract a seven out of 10, another year an eight out of 10, and a couple years down the line, a 10 out of 10. As long as you just keep improving yourself and becoming well, maybe not the best version of yourself, but a better, more improved version of yourself. If you try to become the hero, try to become Adonis, then who is going to be rejecting you? If you look around at most of the modern men right now, most of them are losers. The best ones might be either rich or muscular, but you will never, very, very rarely find a man who is both muscular, aesthetic, smart, rich, wealthy, knowledgeable, 
intellectual, <laughs> just the best in all aspects of life or in most aspects. It will be very rare, if ever, that a woman will see that. So if you can actually do that, if you can just focus this period of time when you're most likely quite young, like if you spend your time from when you're 20 to 25 or 30, you can become so much better than 99% of the other men. And you'll be just so much better than any other that women are literally going to be queuing up to just talk to you. Now, you might not experience this for the first few years of self-improvement. However, if you just stick in there, it will happen. You will become more attractive as the years and as the good habits accumulate. Success is not linear, it's exponential, which means all of a sudden, it, all your success, your attractiveness, is just gonna skyrocket sky high, just instantly like that, and you won't know what's happened. So if you learnt what you should do if you get rejected or dumped, which is just improve your life through self-improvement, just become better, become the best version of yourself. Like the video and subscribe to join the self-improvement revolution. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Remember that it's your duty to become the best version of yourself. And also, if you become the best version of yourself, it will be all these women that rejected you biggest mistake in life. Might be a bit toxic, but who cares?